Hey, what's up, guys? I'm TPV Robinizer. Today, I am bringing you guys a mini update video and my NPC week four team builder. So, um, uh, over the weekend, there were no posts. Um, I have so yeah, there were no posts. I have a CPA, NPC, and SBL battle all this week, and uh, well, the SBL battle happened late. And uh, I didn't get a chance to upload the NPC and CPA videos. So, uh, yeah, I don't have those videos yet. So this is going to be the first of three team builders that are going up today. And tomorrow, uh, Monday, all three battles will go up. Um, yeah. Also, last week there was no NPC battle. Um, that is because... We took a break for the 4th of July. We took a one week break. And yeah, took a week break. But that is it. So, for my week four opponent is Mimo. And uh, Mimo, we battled in the SBL. We pulled out a clutch 1 0 victory. Um, very intense game, like 35 minute long video. And uh, yeah, tough, tough opponent. So, uh, he's also got a really good team. So his team is Titar, Excadrill, Zerkatry, Rotom Wash, Mandibuzz, Mian Shao, Tornadus, Gardevoir, Blaziken, Serena, Alomola, Alomomola, whatever, and Dusknor. So his team, it's got Titar, Excadrill, Zerkatry, and Mian Shao, and Tornadus, and Blaziken, and all those offensive threats. And then he's also got things like Mandibuzz and Rotom Wash and Alomomola, which are just so bulky. So his team, it's hard to check defensively and offensively. So that's the trouble with team building. That's why you're going to see, like, a lot of really weird mons on my team. But, uh, yeah. So, let's get into it. Starts on his team. Our T turn X Skidrill, Mandibuzz defensively, is just really annoying. So, um, what I want to do is check these things. So, I have Miltank here. Miltank is fully defensive to help take on X Skidrill and T Tar, and EQ to hit them both, plus Zerk Tree super effectively, Body Slam for Paras, Stealth Rock, and Milk Drink to get HP, and set up rocks. I want to get rocks up. It forces Mandibuzz in and forces them to go for a defog. It is also good against Tornadus and if it's like a Scarf Zerkatry it'll help if it tries to Volt Switch out and everything. He does have the Serena for Rapid Spin though so I have Sap Zipper so I can check that pretty easily unless he has like High Jump Kick or something. Um, yeah, Miltank Fat Rock Setter. That is it. Um, yeah, so when I get rocks up, it's gonna bring Mandy in and force it to defog. And Renatus here can get a defiant boost with superpower and force the mana buzz out with Thunderbolt or Volt Switch or anything. So this thing is just a mana buzz check and it can also break through Rotom, which is a big problem for for Alligator. So this thing uh Defiant and Nasty Plot with uh, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Superpower with the Zap Plate and Nasty Plot. So I can force Mandibuzz to defog, bring this in, get the Defiant boost. Foul Play only has like a 30% chance to knock me out after that. Um, I can force it out and go for a Nasty Plot. Um, his switch ins to a uh, Electric type move would be. Zerkatry or Excadrill, which uh, a plus two superpower, both Oko, and also a neutral, so I don't even need the Defiant Boost superpower, will Oko Tyranitar. So, superpower can beat the checks to Tornate to Thunderous and Titar, Excadrill, and Zerkatry. At plus two, it'll just obliterate all of them. And then Nasty Plot Thunderbolt will just break through everything. And of course, Volt Switch for initiative. Uh, this speed tier, it's to outspeed something funky. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, yeah, I 
Mianxiao, maybe? Yeah, this is to outspeed Mianxiao. Mianxiao hits 339 at best, and then this will outspeed it. Um, yeah, so this is a sweeper slash wall breaker, I guess. It has two ways of setting up, but it's still a bit more of a wall breaker. So, uh, yeah. Big threat for my team is Zerkatry. Uh, Tail Glow with Thunderbolt and a coverage move destroys everything you know uh, original this thing Dredagon so Dredagon can uh, assault vest lets it take Thunderbolts very easily however he could pack HPS or Dazzling Gleam but I can take one from Zerkatry with Dredagon and go for EQ um, yeah because of the assault vest so you know this is this is hmm. okay Dredagon assault vest Four attacks, Mold Breaker, EQ, Dragon Claw, Gunk Shot, Super Power. Gunk Shot for Gardevoir, Dragon Claw for Stab, Super Power for T-Tar, and EQ for Zerkatree and Rotom. Rotom is a big threat to for Alligator, as I said before. So with the Mold Breaker EQ, I can scout it, set, and do a ton of damage to Rotom. Rotom is it. It just it stops for Alligator so hard. But this thing is such a good Rotom check. The best he can do is Will-O-Wisp, and then Earthquake still does, you know, it still does a decent amount. It'll do 30s if, if I'm burned. If I'm not burned, you know, it'll do 70 if he's not physically defensive. And uh, yeah, Frelgator can just sweep if this thing can wear it down. So as I said before, Zerkatry 2 it KOs this with HP Ice or Dazzling Gleam. And, uh, you know, it beats, <clears throat> excuse me, it beats Thunderous if it's Z-Hypnosis. Miltank's not fat enough to take it on with the physical, physically defensive set. So I need a wall, and Rotom Mo is actually a really good wall to Zerkatry because it quad resists its stab. HP Ice, um, it's, it's not that strong actually against me. Um, it does like 30% unboosted, which is not much at all, so I can just bring this in to take a hit. Um, and then Toxic it, or Volt Switch out to get initiative, because he would switch out. Um, yeah. The Zerkadry, I expect it to be Scarfed, however it could be Z-Hypnosis. And, uh, yeah. So this thing, it also helps against other stuff, because... Because of Levitate, it's also a decent enough Excadrill check. And uh, I can burn Excadrill. You know, both these mons it's checking, I can't hit, hit with my uh, Thunderbolt and Volt Switch, but I can just Toxic Zerkatry or Will Wisp Excadrill. So this thing's also a really good check for that. And it's also a really good check for Rotom. Um, his own Rotom, I can Toxic it. And uh, I quad resist electric, so his thunderbolts won't be doing much. But uh, he's neutral, so my thunderbolts will be doing a lot. Uh, this speed is to outspeed Blaziken, uh, max HP, and the rest in defense. Yeah, this thing can, uh, it's just a really good pivot. Um, next up, my two main offensive mods. So, Sock. Sock is Sock. I'll call him Sock. Sock is the man. Choice banded sturdy. Um, obviously, the sand will break the will break the sturdy, which sucks. But this thing, choice banded with max attack, destroys anything. I, it too, it KOs like it's a. <sighs> oh my. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, it too it KOs like his entire team. Close combat, nuke stuff. Stone Edge hits Mandibuzz. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's all the coverage I need. Knock off its Dusknorn. And that's that's all the coverage I need. EQ. I mean, I can I can just click it against Excadrill, T Tar, and Zerkatry if I don't want to lower my defenses. That's really the reason it's there but these three moves 
And if he doesn't bring Mandibuzz and Dustmore, I can just spam close combat. Uh, this speed, outspeed the max speed, Zerka Tree, and uh, max attack, you know, nuke stuff. Close combat is just such a good, it's just so good. I could have brought um, Mole Breaker EQ on this, but it doesn't do, it does only a little more than close combat to Rotom. So I think Sturdy's better in case he has like Z Hypnosis Zerka Tree to outspeed me. Um, yeah. So last mod for Alligator, last week I brought a Dragon Dance set that got para to death. Not this time. Not this time. I am not letting for Alligator just go down like that again. So, you know, I was like, why even bother raising my speed when I can just Swords Dance and boost my attack a lot? So. I brought. I have a Swords Dance set because uh, with Swords Dance, um, after two Swords Dance, I Oko his entire team, except for two mods, Rotom Wash and Aloe. Aloe is so passive that I can just bring in almost any other member of my team and take it on. And Rotom, um, I can weaken it with almost any other member of my team as well as the fact that uh rotom does get to it ko'd by waterfall if it is physically defensive if it's specially defensive i do like 50 percent to it with waterfall so his walls uh and then mandibuzz mandibuzz uh ice punch and waterfall it depends on what he's at but they could both do a huge chunk and possibly kill it ice punch kills serena so um, sword sense. After two sword sense, water. I just, I'm just repeating myself. Okay. After two sword sense, waterfall, and aqua jet. Aqua jet kills Titar, Excadrill, Zerka Tree, Mian Shao, Tornadus, Blaziken, Gardevoir. It kills all of his offensive threats at plus four. So after two sword sense. And it is just so good. Um, and then once those two mons are gone. And I don't even think Aloe will come. Um, I can just sweep with this thing. And, uh, yeah. It, if I can just set up enough, it doesn't even matter. Because I can just break through Rotom. Uh, Mystic Water to raise Aqua Jet and Waterfall damage. I don't want Life Orb because I don't want to take that residual damage with Aqua Jet. Um, yeah. So, that is my team. I will see all of you guys tomorrow with the battle. Should be a fun one. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Peace.